They are doing very, very well right now. They've got a lot of momentum behind what they're doing around phones. They clearly, from a consumer perspective, have a lot of excitement around the devices. And they've got a lot of their competitors wondering what they're going to do. Now, granted, some of the initial reviews around the Galaxy S4, you know, some of them might have been a bit mixed, but nonetheless, there's still a lot of excitement around it. And I think, you know, with everything that we've been seeing from them over the past few months, and more importantly, going ahead, I think we're still going to see, you know, they're still the competitor to beat, if you will. Samsung is South Korea's biggest electronics maker. They make everything from televisions to washing machines and smartphones. But it's the smartphones that are the most profitable unit. Do you think that they should consider downsizing and just focus on what's making money? Yeah, if you look at Samsung's overall business, right, they're, they've got their hands in a lot of different places. And don't forget, the heritage of Samsung is from that component side, right, where they were doing memory and chips and screens and all that kind of thing and all that coming together into synergies behind all the big TVs that they're doing and these glitzy smartphones and so forth. Um, you know, it is a case where, yes, the biggest part of their business is the electronics division and from the electronics side, a lot of it is, you know, the, uh, the phones. Um, when you look at some of those components, those can be more cyclical um, and a bit more erratic, I guess. Uh, the competition's quite a bit different there. Um, but if you think about it, one of the good things about that is precisely because they are diversified, they're able to kind of hedge themselves against things from time to time. When it comes to smartphone wars, which company should we be watching out for aside from Samsung and Apple? If you look at you know, who are the market leaders today, naturally Samsung and Apple come to mind. And if you think about where some of the previous leaders had been, Nokia and Blackberry come to mind, and of course they're kind of struggling on their own to revive their own fortunes. I mean, they're making some progress, but clearly it's still an Apple and a Samsung story. Um, I think one vendor that is interesting to watch is HTC and all this, right? They kind of fell from grace from just a couple of years ago, right? They used to be doing very, very well in the US, and then everything just kind of came down. But uh, with the HTC One, um, you know, it is, quite frankly, an impressive product. And it'll be interesting to see how much of a revival HTC can, you know, pose with the HTC One, especially as it's basically starting to ship right around the same time as the Galaxy S4. Uh, I would say HTC is kind of that, that wild card to watch. They, they may be able to pull out a few surprises.